my name is Jessica Janowski. This is a video submission for my Vinyasa practice 300 hour yoga teacher training. Um, today's video and lesson we centered on the heart chakra, the um, Anahata. So, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. So, all of our yoga poses and our intention will be centered on your heart chakra, your anahata, which is obviously located in your upper chest. And if you're thinking about where on your spinal column that wheel of energy is centered, then we're talking about the upper thoracic part of the back. So up in here, a couple inches below where the um, cervical spine would start or end. <laughs> Okay, if you are feeling imbalance or blockage in this wheel of energy, this um, Anahata heart center chakra, then you might feel isolated, you might feel depressed, you might feel like you can't forgive yourself or others, um, you might have a lot of jealousy when others are doing well, or seeming like they they have a lot going on in a positive way. Um, you might be afraid to commit to relationships and be intimate with others. Um, you might feel very defensive. You might either be playing the part of the victim. I can never, you know, I can't be loved. Nothing ever goes right for me. Or the rescuer, like where you have to swoop in and save everybody else because you don't think that they're capable of handling things on their own. Those are two extremes, two different sides of the same coin without, uh, because you don't feel necessarily loved or valued. So we really, this is a really important one because I'm always talking about self-esteem. I think because I mostly work with women, a lot of women have a lot of insecurities, which is really sad because the social media and the expectations of looking a certain way and fitting a certain size jean and all this other nonsense um, has women really doubting themselves and really not feeling good about themselves. And so we need to knock that off. Um, remember that true love is unconditional and that even means for yourself. So today, as we go through the yoga asanas, we will have mantras and affirmations with a lot of the yoga courses that we do that are um, going to help us open up that heart chakra and get the energy flowing there. And when you have self-love, then it's much, much easier to then share that love and be loving and kind to others. So this is a really important chakra um, to work on. Okay. Let's get started with our normal way with a faded tone. So you're in Sukhasana easy seat. Your head is to the ceiling. Your sits bones are wherever they are. Ground yourself and really feel how your sits bones are balancing you. Let's begin by listening to, um, for the end of the sound. I'm just gonna turn some music on. My phone is gonna let me turn some music on. Start to breathe. Battery 90%. Connected to ending zygote. And here we go. Bring both hands to your heart center. Inhale. Feel the breath going right through and in and opening up that heart chakra. Exhale. Let's release fear, anxiety. Inhale. Send love. With your breath through every part of your body. Exhale. We are not judging our bodies. We are grateful for what they allow us to do. Inhale. 
exhale. Two more. Inhale. And then last one. Nice job. Inhale, stretch your reach. Bring the arms overhead. Lengthen the spine. Palms come together. Exhale, hands at heart center. You can bow your head if you wish. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen, stretch and reach. Exhale, hands come down at heart center. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, scoop up love. Exhale, pause. Take a moment here to think about what it is that your qualities that you're so proud of and remind yourself of that self-love. Maybe you're super creative. Maybe you're patient. Maybe you're a great artist. Think about your qualities and bring your attention to the inside. So instead of thinking about your physical features on the outside, what about you, your personality, your talents, your traits? Make you uniquely you. You have great pride in. Let's start there for planting the seed for self-love. Inhale, stretch and reach. Arms in a wide V. Left hand and right knee, right hand behind that. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, grow taller, exhale, go deeper. And one more. Beautiful, bringing you around, arms in wide V. Lengthen the spine, exhale, compress. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. A few more breaths here on your own. Just noticing. Exhale, come back to Sukhasana, hands on the knees. Let's bring our chest forward to the open heart. And then let's sit back and squeeze our abs and contract. Moving forward and back. Two more. And back. Oh, that chest is amazing. Inhale, stretch and reach. Let's go to the right side stretch. Breathe, reach over, feel them. Awesome stretch. Exhale, up and over to the left. The right side body lengthens. Inhale, come up, let's do it again. This time, let's straighten the right arm, turn the palm to the ceiling, then push the shoulders. Moving it slightly back. Exhale up and the other way. First, start your stretch. When you're ready, straightening the left arm, flipping the palm right on the ceiling, pushing the shoulder forward while the hips go back slightly, noticing the difference in that stretch. Exhale up. Bowing forward, hinging at the hips, coming forward into a cross-legged forward fold. Breathe here. Walk that back up. Let's work the head and the neck. So bringing the left ear to left shoulder. Noticing the lengthening on the right side. Inhale, up and over the other way. Head to center, let's repeat. Adding leverage if you want. Left hand goes above the right ear, gently pressing down. Right hand stays on the knee or out like an airplane or behind your back or wherever you feel like it feels good. Exhale, up and over. Other way. Gently giving a little more leverage if you have your hand above your head. Noticing the difference. Coming back through neutral, chin to chest. Exhale, head goes behind. 
the lower jaw um, comes away from the upper jaw slightly. Coming forward, let's repeat that. Exhale, head goes back. Good, neutral. Without moving your torso or trying to move your torso. Just a slow, just your head, being mindful. No, so moving first to the right, moving through to the left. Noticing your head just moving really slowly, slowing things down, take it all in. Okay, let's add a little torso to So you're going deeper now, and the shoulders are gonna move, you'll notice. Exhale the other way. Great job. Coming on to all fours. Oh, take that cow for your inhale. Exhale, mad cat. Oh, take that cow. And mad cat. Feels great. And one more. Oh, take that cow. And mad cat. Okay, we're gonna roll our arms down and start with our first intentional heart opener, Sphinx. So hands come forward, shoulders are right above the elbows. And in Sphinx, I'm not a sauna, not a sauna, I can't even talk today. Um, I respect myself. So think about that Sphinx being guarding the pyramids and how much like respect and integrity it has. So making sure the shoulders are up and back and squeezing the high knee. Let's add some variations here. Let's bring the feet to the high knee. Squeeze, exhale, lower it down. I respect myself is your mantra, your affirmation. Inhale, pull it in. And one more, inhale. Exhale. Good job. Pull the hands underneath the shoulders. Push yourself into plank. Lengthen. Push your heels towards the floor here. Hips are underneath. Tummy's tight. You are super strong in plank. There's nothing that can break you. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Feels amazing. Walk your dog if that feels good. Coming back through to plank. Slowly lower down. From things, you move on to cobra level one. So we're not gonna put any pressure on your hands in level one. Start with the head down, inhale. Exhale, bring the head up. Squeezing the legs together, but there's no pressure on the hands. Cobra. Bojangasana. Cobra. I am pure love. Exhale down. Inhale. Let's go halfway. So warming up our back here. I am pure love. Bojangasana, Cobra. Breathe. Exhale down. If you're ready, we're going to go all the way. Inhale. Exhale. Arms straight and all the way up. And we purposely push the shoulders back and down. Be proud here. Feel the heart chakra opening as it lifts and expands outward. Child's pose. Push yourselves back. So we're countering that back bend here. We're balancing. Moving in to forearm plank, holding the forearm plank. Breathe and notice. Let's move into dolphin four times. So we're gonna push our hips back as if our high knee was the fin coming out of the water. Exhale, moving back down, squeeze the abs. Nice tight body here. 
Inhale to prepare. Exhale, push it back. Breathe again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, push it back. Let's pick it up. We're gonna inhale back. Exhale, forward. Good, two more. Inhale back. Exhale, forward. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Lowering down. Sphinx or Cobra, whichever one you prefer. Inhale. Exhale. And back to child. Breathe, reach. Let's take our fingers and make cuffs on our mat. So our palms are going to come off. Just notice if you feel a little difference there. Coming on to your knees. Okay, so we're gonna do Anjanasana with the knee down, low lunge, right foot comes forward. Hips are pushing forward. Inhale, exhale, arms sweep up, little arch back. Opening the heart center here. Let's come down, push into a low lunge, knee off the floor. Breathe. Set back to your plank, super strong in plank, nobody can break you. Lower the knees. Let's repeat on the other side. Push hands forward. And now sweep. Open the heart center. Exhale, hands sweep down. Coming up onto your toes, straighten the back heel. Make sure this front leg is in 90 degrees. Stepping back to your plank. Super strong in plank. Nope, you can break here. Downward facing dog. Notice and breathe. Coming back to your plank. Lowering down. Coming into that. Cobra or that sinks again. So our first two mantras were I am pure love. I you know um, I respect myself and I am I respect myself. Tuck your toes under, down dog, wait. <clears throat> Walk your feet to your hands. Hang out in forward fold. Surrender any fear, any worry. Be in the moment with me. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back. Getting ready for our sun salutations. Inhale, lengthen, stretch and reach. Little arch back, exhale. Leading with your heart. So if we can always lead with our heart, think about the world would be hinging your hips forward fold. Half lift to lengthen forward fold. Go deeper. Step back right. Lunge. Step back left. Plank. All right. Chaturanga or crocodile. I'll do the crocodile first. Knees. Chest. Your hiney stays in there for a second. Push yourself through. If you do crocodile, you're going to end up in cobra. If you do chaturanga, you probably end up in up dog. Tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen. Walk in your feet forward to your hands. Two breaths in forward fold. Trying to draw closer to your legs. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back three times. Let's repeat on the other side. Inhale, stretch and reach. Little arch back. Exhale, swan back. Work will move the heart. Half lift to lengthen. Fourth will go deeper. Step back left. Under us, a low lunge. Knee off the floor. Step back to your plank, your super strong plank. We are going to repeat crocodile, at least I am. 
you can do the chest down if you want. Knees. Chest. Pushing forward. That takes a lot of strength. Coming into your cobra or your up dog. Open the heart center here. I am pure love. I respect myself. Turn the toes under down dog. Lengthen. Breathe. Walk your feet forward. Forward fold, two breaths. Getting ready. Slowly walk one vertebrae at a time. Preparing for our second sun salutation. Inhale. Exhale, arms to up overhead. Draw them together. Palms together at the top. Exhale. Draw a line down the body with your thumbs. Right through the center. Into forward fold. Half left to light, then forward fold. Go deeper. Step back right. Draw the knees softly. Sweep up into that little lunge. Head goes down. Step back to plank. This time I'm going to do Chaturanga, so lower and hover. See if you can hold it a couple of breaths. If not, no worries, just move into your up dog. Maybe you're doing a cobra. Okay, first opportunity, up dog. So, four, bota, banasana. Oh no, that's a different pose. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Co um, where am I? Up dog, up dog, up dog. I am open to love. Check your toes under down dog like this. Right leg goes high in the air. Step in between the hands. Drop the front heel. And drop the back heel. Step up to warrior one. Breathe. Then it comes down, go back to your plank. Back to your down dog. Walk it in, repeating on the other side. Reverse line arm up. Hands are to the top. Palm to the other. Draw the line down your body. Forward fold. Half up to lengthen. Forward fold, go to first step back left. Woo! Dropping your knee, sweeping it up. Heart opens, expansive here. Bring your hands down. Plank. Chaturanga. Or crocodile. When you're ready, move into your back bend. Okay, we just learned another mantra. So, um, what was that? I am open to love. I am open to love. Took the toes under down dog. Left leg high in the air. Push those shoulders back. Really feel this, this pose. I love that pose. Stretch forward. Bring it forward with your left foot. Drop the back heel. Yeah, sweep up. Warrior one. Hands come down. Plank. Down dog. Walk it forward. You're in forward fold. So we go up. Okay, let's do one more side. Shoulders are back. Three times. Arms are going to sweep out. We're going to go up and over to the right for a side stretch first. Exhale, up and over to the left. Arms at a wide V. Bringing the body down. Forward. Half left to lengthen. Forward fold. Go deeper. Step back right. Okay, we're going to sweep into that crescent lunge so the back heel is off the floor. Good. Hands come down. We're going to take the front foot. We're going to kick it right back into that three legged dog. So pick it up. Extend it back. Breathe. Setting it down, moving through plank. Super strong in plank. Okay, here we go. Check on our door, crocodile. 
the way through. Tuck your toes under, down dog. Great. If you're ready, you can float your feet up this little hop to forward fold, or you can walk in. Forward fold. Sleeping in a chair pose. Good. Awesome job. So, chair, we want to make sure we have our weight in the heels. Exhale, come up. Little arch back. Swan eye. Forward fold. Last side. Half of to lengthen. Forward fold to go deeper. <clears throat> Step back left. Okay, so that back heels off the floor in this lunge. We're going to use our core muscle to bring ourselves up. Do that nice lunge. Nice deep lunge. Make sure your knee is in a safe position, please. Take the time to adjust yourself if you need to. Exhale, hands come down. Bring the foot up and back. Lengthen. Breathe and notice. Foot comes down to knee and down dog. Couple breaths here. Let those legs lengthen. Feels amazing. Use your core to move through plank. And when you're ready, Chaturanga or crocodile. Chair back bend. Tuck your toes under down dog. Inhale, couple breaths. When you're ready, you're gonna walk or float hip forward into that forward fold. Breathe. Sweep the chair. Good job. Notice any sensations. Notice if you feel that heart chakra opening. Exhale, hand. Savasihi, pose of stillness. I am enough. Another very loving affirmation for yourself. I am enough. Breathe. And keep repeat it. Okay, we've got. Uh, let's see, we've got warrior one. Warriors are all about people being strong and having enough courage to stick up for what's right. And so this this warrior one, we're gonna add a back bend to it, step back with your right leg. We got warrior one. Put yourself in position. From here. We are going to basically give ourselves a back bend. This arm will drop. So reverse warrior, really. Or over here, reverse warrior. Or bring the other hand behind you. Place the palms facing down and up. Good. Coming down and go a lunge. Step forward. Go up slowly, other side. Starting in warrior one, moving through reverse warrior. Okay, warrior one. Right arm comes down, reverse warrior. Bring the other arm also down and back. So both arms down and back. Good. Coming forward, step together. Slowly go up. Ooh, okay, let's add on to that. Starting in warrior one. Reverse warrior. Let's interlace the fingers behind us. Pull our arms back, moving into humble warrior. So we're just going to pivot at the head, bringing the palms up. Breathe. Coming up, one or two. Nicely done, good job. Step together. Salastihi, I. 
Other side, step back left. Warrior one. Moving through reverse warrior. Bring the other hand down to start on the warrior. Interlace your fingers. Pull the arms back. Bowing forward. And to the ceiling, breathe and notice. <clears throat> Let's talk about warrior two. Focus. Today's focus is brought to you by the Anahara Heart Chakra. Think about love. And step forward. Good. Let's move on. Let's do a little bit more flow work. Step back right, warrior one. Let's come in. Open the warrior two. Focus on your goals. Reverse order. Coming through. Straighten the front leg. Tip down into that triangle. Breathe through the anahata. Try to make that energy really focus there with love and openness down to your pyramid. Let's bend the front leg slightly so you're in that low lunge. We're going to pop in the warrior three. My compassion gives me strength. Uh, warrior three. Exhale. Willow tree. So we're just going to let our heels come off so we can move our knees safely and working out that back. Let's make these a little bigger. So we're going to step our feet a little wider. We're going to do like a big circle. We're going to come up to the side, up, around, and then back. Turn. We're going to do it just this one side and then we'll repeat this full flow on the other side. We'll do the other side. One more. Pause. Heel toe together. Let's repeat that flow on the other side. We've got step back left. Three. Get deep. Feel your power. And two in. One and two. Reverse order. Coming back through. Straighten your front leg. Tip. Triangle. Breathe into that anahata. Imagine you're spinning the energy wheel with your breath or setting that intention. And then moving it into your pyramid. Squaring up your hips and your shoulders. Hips back. If you can't reach the floor, you can be higher up. It's not a problem. Bending the front knee to move to the warrior three. And then when you're right, you straighten that knee or keep it bent. It really depends on what your body wants to do today, and where you feel safe and secure and grounded in this challenging balance posture. Remember that the arms can go to different places. Woo! Exhale, coming up. Okay, so we've got um, our circular side stretch from the other side. We're gonna inhale. We're going to go to the left. We're going to circle down and around and back up. Left, down and around, to the right and back up. Two more. Oh, feels good. And one more. Whew. We're making a big wheel of energy, just like our chakras in our body our subtle body. 
feet to come together. Forward fold, hinging at the hips. Hands on your hips, really tighten your core. Noticing, stop halfway. Arms come out. Feel that energy right here. Concentrate, focus, and surrender. Sinking in the chair. Beautiful. Breathe. Exhale, step back, crescent moon. Present lunge, heels off the floor. So the right foot step back, heels off the floor. Let's move a little bit more. Let's move into three-pointed balance. And then if you're ready, you're gonna open that heart into half moon. So the right hand comes up. Breathe. I love half moon. As we come out of this, we're going to let our right foot come behind us and move in through that reverse warrior. Nicely done. Straighten the front leg, tip back into that triangle. Down back into that pyramid. Okay, this time we're gonna bend into that low lunge. We're gonna move back to three-legged dog. So foot comes up, back to three-legged dog. Downward dog. Setting the knees down gently, moving into camel pose. So, different levels of camel pose. Hands can go behind uh, your lower back, pushing your tummy forward, dropping the head back as you feel safe and necessary. If this is difficult for your knees or tough on your knees, then you're going to roll up your yoga mat. So, you have more padding, okay? As many times you can do it, as many times you can do it, so you're here. Breathe. Okay. Um, in camel, this reminds me of uh, affirmation, my heart leads the way. You're kind of leading with your heart. My heart leads the way. It's so beautiful, right? If you want to try to do full camel, let's warm up the back a little bit. So we're going to take the right hand, touch the right foot, come back up using core now to keep us better centered and stable one more time each way. And when you're ready, you're gonna leave one hand down, bring the other hand down, pop forward in the hips, opening the heart center, my heart leads my, look how the heart is pointing to the sky. Here. Open it. Create space in your heart for everyone and everything. Exhale, come up. Nicely done. Okay. You got to repeat that whole thing on the other side. So we will go back into our downward dog. Walk yourself forward, forward fold. Slowly roll up one leg right at a time. Shoulders back. Good. We're starting with the crescent lunge. So step back, left foot, crescent lunge. There's a deep lunge here. Breathe. Woo. Then we um <laughs> we touch forward into that two point balance. If you want to, you're going to move into that half moon if you're ready for that. So here we're also trying to open the hip and the chest. This is difficult balance posture, but I do love practicing it. And then we're gonna let the left leg come behind us as we tip backwards into a reverse warrior. For a reverse warrior, we've got our triangle. Tip. And moving triangle. Remember, you don't have to go all the way to the floor, you can be wherever you feel. You can keep that heart open. Exhale, pyramid. Bending the knee, kicking this leg back. Do like a dog. Breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Foot comes down, regular down dog. Lower your knees. Let's repeat the camel. So my heart leads the way. Whichever version of camel you want to do is perfect. We're going to be here. Maybe five or six slow breaths. So if this becomes uncomfortable, please go to child's pose as a cow turn. And wait for us there. Squeeze your booty. See if you can really get a little deeper in this pose. Exhale slowly and carefully. Come on. Use your core strength. Oh, okay. Moving as a counter into child's pose. Letting the head rest. Coming up. Coming down. We're going to be doing fish pose. Okay. I like extended fish pose. I think it's fun. First, sit up nice and tall, letting the gas up. Bring those elbows behind you. And push your hips forward. Chest opens. Let me not feel slippery today. <laughs> you can be here. If you want to go deeper, bring your head down. If you want to go deeper, bring your arms up. If you want to go deeper, bring your legs up. Breathe and notice. Do whatever version you feel is comfortable for you. Exhale, roll down carefully. Watch your neck. Bring the knees in. Oh, it feels good. Let's do a little um, massage on our back by letting our knees go in a circle. Notice how allow your back to kind of roll around on the mat there. So you don't have to stay super, super like stable and just move the knees. I want you to experience your back shifting, which part of it is touching the mat. So some of it will come up as you move through these circles. Beautiful. Legs to the ceiling. Now you, if you're not ready for this quite exactly to move from here to boat pose, put your hands down and maybe even your feet down and work your way back up. But if you're ready, inhale, exhale. Boat pose, breathe. Hold and balance. Good, because we're going to be moving into our bridge. That's a great heart opener. And in bridges, lower. We use our bridge to connect us, right? So I am connected. When we feel connected, we feel loved. When we feel isolated, we don't feel loved. Lowering down, bringing the knees and to the or bring the knees to the side, bring the feet to the knee, heels to the high knee, and half, exhale up. Beautiful. Just squeeze. If you want to go a little deeper, interlace your fingers, pull your hands towards your feet. Squeeze. Push those hands for the feet. Exhale. Lower and down. Let's repeat that. We're going to do it two more times. So we start with legs up the wall, arms also reaching to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Boat, breathe. Lead us wherever you are. Remember, boat pose can be here. Boat pose can be here. Boat pose can be here. <clears throat> Whatever your version of boat pose is. A couple more breaths. Lower. Lower. <laughs> One more breath at a time. Knees to the ceiling and prepare. Inhale, exhale, bridge. Let's do a little bit of mindfulness here, right in bridge. Let's bring our knees together. When you do that, can you feel your hips dropping slightly? Exhale, open. Inhale, knees together. Exhale, open. And one more time. Beautiful, and then lowering the back. Legs up the wall, breathe. Rest, push your shoulders down. 
Let your shoulders come off a little bit, just noticing the difference. Push your shoulders back down. Really focus, this is a little bit of mindfulness, on that Anahara. Ready? One more time, bring your shoulders up. Inhale, exhale, boat. Ooh, here we go. It's harder every time you do it, right? <laughs> Breathe, remember to accept and be grateful for what your body's doing today. No worries, no judgment. We're just here on our mat practicing. Lower the legs. Inhale, exhale, lower one more at a time. Last bridge. Be come closer to the high knees to the ceiling. Inhale, up. Make sure that your fingers are that. Feels good to you. All right, let's add on here. Let's stabilize with our left leg. Let's bring our right knee to our chest. Lengthen and pull it down. Don't let it touch the ground. Let's do three more. In, lengthen. Circle it down one more. In, like that, circle it down. Now, we're, now let's do the other side. Knee to the chest, lengthen, circle down. In, lengthen, and one more. Beautiful, and rest. Let's go back to bringing those knees, hugging those knees into the chest. Mm. Great job. Exhale, Woo, legs up the wall. This time, we're gonna put our arms out like airplanes. And we are going to drop our right leg out to the side. And then we're gonna meet it with our left leg. We have not touched the floor. Left leg comes back up, right leg comes back up on the other side. I like to call this alligator jaw because it reminds me of Big alligator, chomping, chomping, chomping. Down, down, up, up. Working your core now, really focus. And one more. One more on the other side. I'm starting to feel this, I like this. <laughs> Lower. Okay, let's work on single leg wood release pose. So we're gonna let the left leg rest. We're gonna bring the right knee in. Squeeze, exhale. Send it away with still holding onto it, so gently. Inhale, squeeze, working and promoting good digestive health. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale. Let's take that knee over and across the body. Beautiful. Come back to center. Like the leg. Reach for your feet. Or if you can't reach your feet, it doesn't matter. Reach for your foot. And just draw that leg like, closer to your face. Sending it out to the side. And back up. Slowly lower the leg. Inhale. Exhale, other side. So we're drawing that left knee in. Exhale, send it away. Inhale, draw it. Exhale, send it away. And out. Exhale, good. Then we're gonna come across the body with a bent knee for a supine spinal twist. Supine on your back. So if you need more um, torso twists, you will look towards your left hand. If you need less, you're gonna look towards your right hand, or you can look at the ceiling. So there's options here. Exhale, up, extending the leg. Walking the hands up the leg as far as you can go. No, it doesn't matter where. And you're gently bringing that leg back to the face. You might notice one side is easier than the other side. That's normal. Beautiful. 
Slowly lower the legs. Let's sit in um, recline butterfly. So feet together, just resting for a moment. Let's reconnect. Relax and breathe. Let's draw the legs together and let's do some windshield wipers. So in windshield wipers, we are going to allow both of the legs, the knees to go to one side, so to the left. Just take it out for a few breaths here. So up over to the right. And again. So we're gonna hold it a little bit longer here. See if you can put your energy and your attention back to Anahata. With each inhale, you're sending yourself love. And with each exhale, you're getting rid of doubt, fear, anxiety, and worry. They do not serve you. Inhale, up and over. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to be starting our meditation piece. So we're gonna go ahead and get into Shavasana and final relaxation. Take a moment or two to do any other stretches you might need in order to rest comfortably. As you prepare for Shavasana, I will be sitting at Sukhasana to guide you through this meditation. Once you're comfortable, bring both hands to your heart space. One hand on top of the other hand. Just notice. Start to breathe. With each inhale, you are going to say, I am loved. With each exhale, you're going to rid yourself of the illusion that you are not cared for, that you are not loved, that you are not worthy. So it's, I am loved. We're going to be here for about two minutes. Just nice, slow, deep breaths. And then I will refocus you on another mantra. Continue until you hear my voice again. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands away from your heart center for a second. Rub them, create warmth. Keep rubbing 
A new match will be, I forgive myself for my mistakes. Feel the warmth in your hands, I'll lay them in the opposite way you've had them before, on your anahata. And begin breathing slowly and purposely with the affirmation, I forgive myself for my mistakes. Continue in this way until you hear my voice again. I forgive myself for my mistakes. your hands away from your heart space. So prepare for the last final mantra, which will be here a little bit longer than the other two. This time, curl your fingers so that your tops of your fingernails touch each other and your thumbs come together so you're making a heart. Bring your heart above your heart space. Rest it there only as long as it's comfortable and then return to both hands on your but maybe try for just a few moments to have purposely making a heart over your heart with your hands. I am love and light. I am love and light. I am love and light. Continue breathing and believing that you are the embodiment of love. And light resides within you. And when you are loving, that light shines and the energy reaches others. And it can't help but illuminate the darkness. It can't help but reach others because love and light are energy. That's the kind of energy we need in this world. Inhaling, exhaling, I am love and light. Continue until you hear a soft chime from the same wall.
Slowly, when you bring some energy back in your body, kind of wiggling your wrists, circling each way. Wiggling your toes and maybe rotating your ankles one way, then the other way. Squeezing your abs and releasing. To make your way back to Sukhasana, easy seat. You can roll over to your right side if that feels good. Rest. When you're ready, make your way back to Sukhasana. Check in with how you feel today. Hopefully you feel like you've given yourself a big hug because you're worth it, you are amazing, you are important, you are loved. You can't ever really forget that because when we start to doubt ourselves, when we start to not love ourselves, that energy is sent out and it almost gives people permission to also treat us unkind. I want you to think about that. Have you ever noticed that when uh, somebody feels like they're not worth it, it's almost like you also agree with that and you feel like they're not worth it. So we can never allow that to happen to ourselves. And we also need to encourage the people that we are close to, to have confidence, self-respect, and self-love, no matter what. It's a hard thing. It's a hard thing in this very, very critical world but we can continue to practice and open our hearts to ourselves and then to others. Thank you for joining me today. Comes together. May I know my truth. May I see my truth. May I speak my truth. May I feel my truth. Namaste.